Hello and welcome to Saturday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where don't worry, we're not doing yesterday's puzzle again, although it's a very good puzzle and you definitely should have a go at it if you've not had a look at Dark Magic by Geese Mania. Enjoyed that one mightily. No, the reason this is on the screen is I've been asked to open today's puzzle live on the webcam, which means it's probably going to have no digits in it or something uh, similar. So let me just uh, copy and paste into the browser the link I've been given and we will see what we will see. We have got Event Horizon by Michael Lefkowitz. I did. I, I said that correctly. I'm sure it's pronounced Lefkowitz. Um, who so, Michael sometimes um, constructs under the name of Juggler, I believe. Um, we've got, hang on, let's look at the grid. Whoa, <laughs> what is that? Oh, I, I actually can't. I can't click on it. Hang on. <laughs> What's event horizon? Oh, the black holes. That's that is an event horizon thing, isn't it? A black hole. Um, I don't seem to be able to click on the black hole. Let, let's just read the rules together. That might make make more sense. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, it's in the right position on the screen, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the value of a digit inside the black dot, i.e. box five, is double its normal value. OK, and then we've got killer, it says digits in a cage do not repeat and their values sum to the number in the cages upper left corner. Their values sum to that. Ah, right. OK, and that explains why we've got a 70 cage in the grid. Normally, the secret tells us that there can't be a cage that sums to more than 45 because all of the Sudoku digits do sum to 45. A secret I only tell my very favorite people. Um, yeah, so a 70 cage is, is normally completely out of bounds, but I guess if we can if we can double all the digits in this box, we can we can presumably get close to 70. Little killer, so we've got values on values again on indicated diagonals sum to the number by the arrow. So right, so the digits there, which aren't interfered with by the black hole, <laughs> sum to 30. These digits which I can't, I can't highlight them all. Oh, could I use the um? Can I use can I use colours or anything? No. Uh, can I use lines? Let's try lines. Oh, I can. Right, I can draw lines. Okay, so that's good. Right, let's try that then. Those. Oh, hang on. Those digits passed by th that line uh, have to sum to thirty. But the values of that one and that are oh, this is good. Yeah, now I can at least draw over the black hole. Um, th these two digits would be doubled, whatever they happen to, to add up to. Let's let's restart. Um, and then Renban, we've got values on a pink line form a consecutive non repeating set. OK, so we've got we've got a Renban going into the black hole, but uh, oh, I can't even highlight it. Sorry, I'll try. I'll try and do pink highlighting. So it depends where this um, pink line goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, it, it could join up together. So, I mean, at, at the minimum, I think this this pink line goes to here, and then each of these values have to form a consecutive non-repeating set. So they could be one, two, three, and four, for example. Um, although quite how that works with the black the black hole doubling the digit, I don't know. That, that That's something we're going to have to work out. What an idea. I've got no idea how hard this is. Um, Michael Michael's puzzles, hmm. I want to say they're normally about average difficulty, but maybe use the length of the video as a guide for this one, assuming I'll be able to solve it at all. Um, but I am looking forward to having a go at it. It's absolutely, I mean, that that is a very unusual thing. Can I actually put digits into the, oh, maybe it's fog. Maybe if I put a digit in, let me just try and put a digit in. Ah, no, the, okay, so the digit, the digit goes goes in front of the black hole. Ah, that's very clever. I don't know how this has been done as well, because if you look, it looks to me like the the black hole is warping the the grid. 
the grid seems to be bending into the black hole. Um, and what is an event horizon? Is that, I want to say that's the part, is that is that where the black hole st pulls everything into it? So if you're just outside the event horizon, you don't get pulled into the black hole. And if you are in the event horizon, everything gets pulled into the black hole. I don't know, that might be a totally inaccurate astrophysics explanation but I know we do have a lot of astrophysicists who watch the channel so I've no doubt the comments will be full of erudition today um, now what else do I have to tell you about I do have some news for you today firstly um, there is a website now this one uh, I'll put a link to this uh, um, under the under the video where you can now download not only our books you can see some books here but also the our fog of war um sort of that this was the thing that we did just before christmas a story by peter c hayward uh, augmented by fog of war sudoku puzzles from sandra and nala but the deluxe edition is also out now which includes um bonus fog of war puzzles by the likes of jay dyer i mean a fist of fell i think um so this is this is really really cool and you can now get it on this website. So if you, if you missed out on the Kickstarter, it is available. I will try and remember to put a link on the screen. Other things to mention, we are streaming next Tuesday night at 10 p.m. UK time. Love to have your company. We are streaming. No, that's the chocolate cake. Oh, I don't know. I, I might not have the thing we're streaming. It's called Last, Last Port BBS or something. Dungeons and Diagrams. Many of you know what that is. I do not yet. But next Tuesday night, I might know what it is. So Mark and I are going to be streaming then. Uh, love to have your company if you're free. Now, what else do I have to tell you about? Um, 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 over on Patreon, we've got a uh, bonus solve of Mark's of um, yesterday's Times Cryptic Crossword. Lo loads of you have been watching that and enjoying it. It's well worth watching if you want to see pure, unadulterated mental powers. I recommend it. Um, and then I've got some birthdays to do. I'm going to start off by with an apology birthday. Amit, over there in Israel, I'm so sorry. Your birthday was on the 19th. I am four days late. I only got the message. Um, I think I think that message came in via Instagram, which we do try and upload Wordle in a minute on every day, but I don't always check the messages every day. So I apologize. I hope you had a good birthday with lots and lots of chocolate cake. Uh, next, Travis over there in New Brunswick, Canada. Your fiance Kirsty wrote in and said you'd appreciate a shout out. Apparently, you normally watch during your lump lunch breaks while eating chicken tendies and taters. A chicken tendies the same as chicken tenders or or uh, chicken nuggets. That's what we call them here, or I call them here. Uh, anyway, Travis, thank you for thank you for watching. Um, I'm not sure even if it's your birthday, but if it is, I hope you have a very good one. Um, Chris, from your girlfriend, Terra. Um, uh, I know it's your birthday today. Uh, and we had a, a very nice email from Terra um, telling us that you're an accomplished aerodynamicist. And your work, I think, has taken you to Munich, although you, you your home is Toronto. Um, and that is why the two of you can't be together today. But Terra described you as warm, thoughtful, brilliant, clever, kind, loving, and the very best. So, Chris, you're doing something right. Let me tell you that. And I hope you have a great birthday today over there in Munich, a beautiful city. Uh, and speaking of beautiful cities, we're going to move across the globe to Atlanta, Georgia for the next birthday. Guy, you've turned 27 today. And I know this because your wife, Abigail, wrote to us. Um, it's nearly time for the Masters, isn't it? So Atlanta, Georgia is about to get busy. Augusta, Georgia, of course, being a place I would very, very much like to go and play golf one day. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, this is the cake. This is the cake. So Abigail has made this cake, which is peppermint mocha chocolate cake. This is the first time you've made this. And look at this. I mean, that is a proper cake. And that cake... I mean, it does look quite calorific, and that's that's only to be commended. But the ratio of icing to cake, that looks quite decent to me. I mean, it could maybe do with a little more icing, but it, I mean, it does look good. Abigail, I think you've done a fantastic job there. And Guy, you're a lucky man. Uh, happy birthday. And then finally, Laszlo, different part of, part of the States now. We're going over to New York. Uh, your nephew, Matt, wrote and said that 
you you would appreciate a shout out on your I think it's your birthday um I don't know how old you are but I, I do know you recently introduced your 86 year old father to cracking the cryptic thank you very much for doing that <laughs> that's brilliant that is absolutely brilliant and you teach maths um, at an all-girls school in New York so that might that might identify you to some I hope that's okay but Laszlo many happy returns and thank you for watching the channel and that's all the news so we can turn our attention to this ludicrous puzzle from Michael these are well, I've read the rules don't have to do them so we can kick straight into it do have a go the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual but now I get to play let's get cracking so it must be this 70 gauge, I think. Um, right, so, okay, well, I don't really know how to do, we, well, the 70 cage must go into box five and indeed does, because I think it's clear it goes from there to there, isn't it? That's sort of an open cage. So I think we can assume that it goes into this square, which you can't even see. Uh, oh, I know what I could do. Right, I know what I could do. I'll draw a line. So it goes at least to here. But it can't only go to there. Because if it did, even if this cell was a, a 9, it would be doubled, have a value of 18. Plus 8 and 7 is nowhere near, I think that's 33, it's nowhere near 70. So it's definitely got to go further. Now I don't think it's going into that square. There doesn't seem to be any sort of off, sort of grid furniture, does there, in this square. There's no cage boundary. It can't go into this cage, which is a 20 cage. So I think it must go down again into the middle of the grid. Now, I'm wondering if it has to go into this cage here. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, okay. Well, hmm. It definitely, uh, well, it's hard to tell actually. If that is a single cage, it doesn't go into it. Because if it did, I think that cage is, has got 10 cells in it. And I thought it said digits couldn't repeat. No, it does say, it says digits cannot repeat within a cage. So it doesn't say values don't repeat. It says digits cannot repeat. And there are only nine digits in Sudoku. So we can't have a 10 cell cage. So... So what does that mean? It, mean? it means that if if this if it sort of goes there, then this is not part of this cage, is what it means. Which I think looks it looks like that's plausible based off the way the warping is happening. That the that this cage here doesn't connect to those those cells. Um, I think it's also possible they do connect though. Anyway, where are we mathematically now? We're at, if, if the cage stops here, I can't do that to show this. If the cage stops here, we've got at least, or a maximum of 9 plus 8 doubled, 34, uh, plus 7 plus 6. That's still nowhere near 70. So we definitely have to go further. Now, I don't think that cell is in a cage at all. So if we took those two cells which you can't see anything of if these two cells were also in the 70 cage then we would have four cells in box five which could all be doubled so we could have nine eight seven and six doubled ah that's still not enough that's only <laughs> nine eight seven and six add up to 30 double 30 is 60 but i've used up nine eight seven and six so these could be a maximum of five and four and that's 69 which is not enough so that means well that right that means that we do have to go right so that allows me to write that in those cages are not the same because I can't get to enough I can't get to 70 unless I do start to take in some of this stuff and in taking in some of this stuff it's not possible I'm taking in all those cells for the reasons we mentioned. So these are definitely different cages. Now, how do we work this out though? It's 
So I'm just thinking, I, I, I haven't got a clue whether that's in a cage. I don't even really know whether... Am I allowed to assume that that cage, that this cage goes into that cell? That, that feels reasonable. But if that's true, then I either go down there. I, what I'm thinking is I couldn't do that, for example. I couldn't have that one and that one. In box five. I mean, well, what I'm trying to say is I couldn't have that one, that one, and those ones, which would would be could give me a population of nine cells. Oh, I don't know. How, I don't really know how to think about this. Let's just try and have a go at something like that, just to just to see what the mathematics of that looks like. So, oh, good. <laughs> Every time I go off that, I can't I can't highlight the cells. So let's go back here. So. This time we've got four cells in box five. So we could those could be a maximum of 30. So that's 60. Oh, now we're fine. Now we're absolutely fine. Because we only need the other cells to add up to 10. And there are four of those, and we could do that easily with one, two, three, four, but or we could do it with we could do it. We don't even have to have. Well, no, we have got four cells and one, two, three, four and five to choose from. So I think we would have to do it with one, two, three, four very precisely. But we don't have, I mean, what that's suggesting is this doesn't have to be nine, eight, seven, six. And that's if this is the shape of the cage, which it needn't be, um, because there must be other other cages we can draw here. Like, what if we went to the bottom one? What I mean, can we just go straight, straight on through like that? Then we have three digits in box five, which could add up to seven, eight, and nine would be 24. Doubled is 48. We need another 22. But we can't use nine, eight, and seven. Six, five, four, three is not enough. Right, so we would have to, we'd have to take something else as well if, if, if we just go straight down. But I think we only need one more cell and then we're fine. Oh, especially as it's going to be a double digit. Yeah, then we're definitely fine. That's weird. That is weird. So it's... <laughs> Unless I've mi Oh, I know what it might be. Right, hang on. I'm going to go back to the other one. I'm going to go back to the other idea I had. What was it? That one. Is it something to do with you can't repeat digits in box? Um, oh, I can't, I can't highlight it again. Sorry, sorry, I keep getting that wrong. Um, so these four digits. Well, what, what I was wondering is, could we, if we look at these squares, which are obviously cells that are in this same cage on this configuration, but you can't repeat these digits in the cage. So these, but these digits have to go somewhere in box five. So those two, they can't go on the green line. So these two, <laughs> you can't really show it, but they have to go in two of those three squares. And these two have to go in uh, what if those two have consumed two? Oh yeah, okay. so. Hmm. Oh, this is still okay. Sorry, this is still okay. Uh, but, but the point is, ah, uh, yeah, the, the simpler way of looking at this is to note that that square, I'll make it blue, that sees the whole of the line I've drawn, the whole of the possible cage. So this is an eight cell cage. This is the ninth digit in the cage. So that this digit doesn't appear in the cage. And that leaves four cells in box five, which would have to be these these four cells but they could be they could be i think the only stipulation would be that one of these two vertical in the vertical domino would have to go there i've made a right mess of this haven't i <laughs> let have we actually done anything 
uh sort of actually i have i have done one deduction that i'm i'm willing willing to stand by and that deduction is that x in the grid so i can get rid of everything else otherwise i'd have just restarted the puzzle um i'm going to get rid of my green line as well so this cage hang on this cage goes there and it we th we think it does go to the middle don't we because it can't go here there's no cage and it can't go there because that's part of the 20 cage yeah i'm sorry i don't think this is where i was meant to start after all i just was drawn to this because it looked it looked it must be <laughs> it must be i don't think it is but i'm going to try the 30 diagonals now so this 30 diagonal is it does it does plow its way through the through the black hole so if we if we minimize the digits on the diagonal and let's let's draw a line in um let's draw a line down this diagonal so we can at least see what we're talking about so these three digits could be a one two three triple each of which would be doubled so that's 12's worth of digit this is fine isn't it so we can have one two three here one two three here we can't actually have one two three there in fact you can't oh, actually you can't have oh actually right sorry sorry i had not spotted this but this um those two digits actually have to be at, they have to add up to at least 11 because because we can't make this cell more than nine so five and six would be 11. But they don't have to be. They could be four and seven. Yeah, but the point is they'd have to be ele if we had eleven there, and then we had a one for twelve. That's oh goodness me! Right, that's it. This is where we should have started. I did not think to look at this diagonal at all. But actually, it's completely forced. Bobbins is the fresh phrase we're looking for. <laughs> Bobbins McBobbins face. OK, and the reason this is forced is these have to add up to 11. Well, at least. And if, if they add up to 11 and I make this a 1, that's 12. Now, the minimum I could make these squares in, in the black hole we said was 1, 2 and 3. But they get doubled. So that's another 12 if these were 1, 2 and 3. And now I'm on 24 and I've still got three more cells to count, three more cells to count, which would be a one, two, three triple to get us up to 30. And that's that's minimizing, ah, minimizing everything. I'm sorry, I thought that was suddenly these were going to disappear, but they do actually appear over the black hole. So, so we get our first digit. This is all. That's a one and it's on a Ren ban. And these, well, and this is a nine and these add up to... Um, no, it's not worth pencil marking. These add up to 11. So they're 5, 6, 4, 7, 3, 8, but they're not 2, 9. Um, and, well, what does that mean? Sorry, I'm just going to think about this for a second or two now. yeah okay right so i'm not going to make the same mistake twice what's okay let's have a look at this diagonal now i'll just make it a different color the reason i want to look at that diagonal is that i think this square and this square are now contributing a bare minimum if these were a four five pair I can't, I can't highlight them it's so weird i can i can do it like that so if these were a four five pair which is the least they can be because they don't they don't overlap with the one two three triple in box five then these are contributing 18s worth of, of of the 30 straight away aren't they that can't be a one 
In fact, that the minimum that can be is a three because it's in a 20 cage and I could make this an eight, nine pair. So the minimum that is, is three. The minimum this is, is two. Now the minimum this one is, is one by the looks of it. So I've got six um, plus 18 is 24. I could put a one here for 25. Oh no, it's, it's, this is not forced at all. It's, it's not far away, but there are degrees of freedom here. Rather annoyingly, oh, my phone is buzzing at me. Um, there are degrees of freedom. I'm really surprised about that. Yeah, okay, so, so if we put the absolute minimums on this diagonal, that could be a one, I think. This could be a two, and that could be a one. And now I've got four, 10, So these can't add up. Yeah, okay, so these can't add up to more than 10 because they get double, <laughs> they get doubled. So these digits are, they must have a four in them. These two, oh, this is so, it's so weird. I can do it maybe like, oh no, it didn't highlight it. I thought, oh no, there we go. I just didn't have it highlighted, but couldn't see I didn't have it highlighted. Right, there must be a four in one of these. And if I highlight them both, they could have a six in because it could be a four, six pair, which would add up to 10, multiply it by two, because they're in the black hole, 20. And then this could be three, two, one, one, two, one, and that would work. Or these are a bit lower, and then there's degrees of freedom because we could make any one of these digits, I think, two higher as a maximum. Maverick's just taken off it uncannily. Um, right. And, and oh, this one doesn't overlap, though, does it? Ah. No, oh, I've got 60. If I, I was just wondering if I put one there, is it difficult to get to 29 in those? But I don't think it is. They can all be massive. Well, that one can't be nine, but... Um, so, I'm trying not to sneeze. Concentrate, Simon. <laughs> um, now, wh what does this mean, though? Yeah, ah, okay. So this digit is on the Ren band, and it's doubled. But that's fine. I mean, imagine that was a one. It would be have a value of two. That one is better. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I've got a... Right, sorry. This cell... What is this cell? Oh, this is beautiful. That is beautiful. That... Oh my goodness me. That is so clever. That is so clever. I, the, the, Hang on, I'm just, I'm actually just, I just want to think about this because I think this might be one of the cleverest cell. I can't even see it to explain how clever I think this is. Hang on, that. That is ridiculous. I'm still not sure in my mind. I've got to the bottom of just how clever that cell is, but I think it's very clever. That is, that's quite brilliant. That is quite brilliant. Okay, I'm going to start articulating. I, I, I haven't quite got, I haven't quite got how far this goes in my brain, but it goes a long way. This square is now at least a five, but its value then is 10 at least, because it's got to be doubled. But the, 
values on on the on this line this line here have to form a consecutive sequence now i've got I've definitely got a one on this line and i've definitely got something on the line that's at least a 10 so this renban has to be at least 10 cells large and that means this is where I'm getting a bit more hazy. I suspect it means, I haven't quite concluded on this, but I think it means it has to join to this. Because, because every cell it's taking from box five is, is sort of a double digit. So we can't, how do we, how do we put, yeah, yeah. So it's the odd numbers. Oh, this is ridiculous. That is, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so what I'm now thinking is my, my Renban line, which definitely has a one and a 10 on it, has to have the even digits, obviously therefore, it has to have even digits on it, two, four, six, eight. But it's also got to have odd digits on it. And it's got to have the odd digits 3, 5, 7, and 9. It's got to. How can I how can I put those digits on a Renban constructed only from doubled digits? I can't. You can't double a digit and get to an odd number. Or double an integer and get to an odd number. So what I've got to do. Well, what we're, being, what we're being told here is that these cells are all odd numbers. They are the odd numbers between 1 and 10. And therefore... And therefore, does it, I presume this... Yes, yeah, so this has to be... A, this has to actually be a 5 now. Because if it was a 6, for example, then I would need to... I'd need to somehow put an 11 on the Renban and you can't do it. Ah, oh, this is so, that is brilliant. That is as clever as anything you'll ever see. Goodness me. So this is now four, six, which is 10, which is worth 20. All this diagonal all becomes minimumed now because we've got, we've got twenties counting here. So this is three, this is nine, this is eight, this is two, this is one, this is one, this is two, this is one. I haven't quite worked out, although I will in a minute, what that means. So, oh, hang on, let's let's just think about this. In fact, no, I'm going to do Sudoku. Isn't that a one now? And that's got to be a four, five pair because these two squares have to add up to nine without using one, two, three. <laughs> this is suddenly getting easier. That's, am I allowed to say that's not a one by Sudoku? I am, aren't I? The fact it gets doubled in the box doesn't doesn't affect doesn't mean I can't do Sudoku on it. Um, but let me just think about this line now because this line is going to have yeah it's going to have two fives on it, but that's okay because this five isn't really a five; it's a ten. Yes, so the so the even digits on this line are made up entirely. So what even digits have we not put on it? Two, four, six, and eight. So that's four even digits. Well, and 10 if you include that one. Yes, okay. So there's got to be another, so the four even, the, the four even digits we've not put on the line yet are in box five. And, the, and the, so, so the one, the one is on the line, the two is on the line, the three is on the line, because we double each of those to get the two, the four, the six that we need, and the four is on the line, but we don't know where that goes. <laughs> so, so the purple line now goes here. Whoops, I, I don't know if I'll be able to show this. It goes there, it goes there. It's definitely got, uh, let's, let's change the, let's change the circles here. It's definitely got, this one, this one, and this one on it, and one of these blue ones. So I'll delete the blue, the blue one, blue circles. One of those is on it. So does it have to go? 
I presume it has to sort of do that now. And then it has to go there. Oh, I see, but we don't. We're not, I was wondering if I could use the geometry of the line to explain it. I'm going to actually delete this 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 coloured line now. I don't think that's helping me. I've, I'm leaving the green line in because I still don't know what that cage is doing. Um, but it's going to do something like that or like that, isn't it? Now, depending on which one of these is a four. I, that that is brilliant. That's it's genius setting. It's genius that you can ah now I can do Sudoku on that. I can do Sudoku on that. One of these is a five now, uh, and its value will count as five for the Renban. That's not a nine, because it sees a nine here. And that's not a nine because it sees a nine there. So they are now a three, seven pair, which means these are not three and seven or they would repeat their value on the line. So these are a five, nine pair. Um, the rest, <laughs> the rest of box five is made up of sevens, eights and nines. And That one, I'm going to claim, can't be a 9. If that was a 9, it would be worth 18. These would have to be double 1, which won't work. If this is 8, it's worth 16. These have to be 1. Oh, bobbins. It uh, uh, might not work. Hang on, let's just think. They'd have, they'd have to be a 1-3 pair. That would make this a 2. That would make this a 3. Make this, I think, a 1. One is in one of those squares by Sudoku. My window's now rattling. Where's one in box one? It's there by Sudoku. So one is in one of those two squares in box four. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I can rule eight out from here. But if this is seven, how does that work? Fourteen. So these would have to add up to six. Uh, which... Would either well the one or the two would have to be here because there are two ways of making six one five and two four so this would be and this would be four or five um okay i'm not sure if we can i'm not sure if i can improve upon that what about ah three i don't get a three in the corner i get a two in the corner i get a three here I get a two in one of those squares. It might just be Sudoku now. That's, that's probably a foolish thing to say. Yes, where's two in this box? It can't go in the 20 cage, so that goes there. Right, so this is now one. This is now, oh, do we not know? No, we don't know. We know that's odd now because we need we need this to add up to 20 and that's doubled and that's odd so that's got to be odd as well um okay so this right so the right that's not one so the one in the middle box is right in the middle and oh okay there's a three here so that's a seven which means that's a three on the Ren ban. This is not seven by Sudoku. Still don't know what those digits are. Uh, I know these are a five nine pair. Can I do anything with that? don't know <laughs> not sure um two i could place two in um in box three sorry if you've been shouting at me about that that would be very understandable two's in one of those squares how many ones have we got have we done all the one no i haven't done all the ones but i ought to be able to i can do all the ones we've we done all the twos 
No, very much not. Um, threes, I don't think we've got as many. Th okay, right. So do we have to now... Or where do we look now? Maybe this 30 diagonal. I haven't looked at that at all. So how would we think... Of, yeah, n neither of those squares can be a 9. So the maximum these could be would be an 8 here and a 6 here. Which is 14, 19, 20, 23. So that needs to be at least a 7. But it could be 7, 8 or 9. Ah, all right, so let's put 7, 8 or 9 into this square. Can I do better than that somehow? That digit has to make an appearance in this box. It's going to be in one of those squares. Because it can't go in this column. Um, or... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Can we can we now deduce more precisely how this um this 70 cage works? Yes. Okay, yes. That's that's well, what I can say is that this is not in the 70 cage because that would repeat a digit in the 70 cage. We know that this central cell is in the 70 cage and it's a one. So this cage, which is what the cage I was sort of thinking went like that, can't be in. So that, that means this bit of cage is in. Right, so Okay, so I think that means that all of those squares are in this 70 cage. But it could include that one. It could include that one. I don't think it can include that one. I don't think it can include this one. And I don't think it can include that one because I can't see any grid furniture there. So... Okay, so what's the what's the absolute maximum this adds up to? If we had eight nine at the bottom, um, let's think about this. We'd have eight nine at the bottom. That's twenty two. Twenty two. It's nowhere near. It's nowhere near twenty two and twenty four is what I'm getting there. That's nowhere near seventy. That's making this a six, so that this is worth twelve double to twenty four. Uh, let me just think about that again. So if this is if this is 12, 24, 24 and 22 is 46. I still need I still need loads more. I still need another 24. So that the only way I'm going to be able to get that is if both of these are in the cage. Because any, any one of them individually, even if I double it, it's only worth a maximum of 18. It's not worth 24. Right, so now, now I think all of this, or there's a big cross-shaped cross cage, I think. Now, how many cells is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay, so nine cells. Nine cells of cage now add up to 70 so every digit is in the cage and there are five double digits right right so we can now use the secret to work out the value of this square that square there i think because uh because the secret tells us that all nine sudoku digits sum to 45 yet we need to double enough of those sudoku digits to get to 70 so we need 25 more, don't we? We need, we need, 
we need 25 of digits in the black hole, which are doubled. And here I can see I've got... Yeah, okay, so now I know this is a 9. Because I've got, I've got 10 here plus another 6 is 16. I need 25. 25's worth of digits to be doubled. And the only way I can get to that is if that square is a 9. Oh, it won't let me do it. I want to... Yeah, there we go. That's a 9. That's an 8. That's a 7. 7 needed a 5 here, didn't it, to make the mathematics of this work. And the we can now get these two squares, which are 8 and something. 8 and 7, actually, is what they are. This is not an 8. Um, now... Did I know? No, I still I still don't know how this four six thing disambiguates, do I? That's and that's going to be important for how the Renban works. Ah, uh, eight is placed in box two by Sudoku. And how? How? Hey, wait a minute. How am I ever going to know what this cage adds up to? <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to... Oh, well, I suppose I'm going to know... If I get that digit, I'm going to know. But only by... Only by sort of backing into it. I'm never going to see what that did. Oh, you know, I wonder if when I finish it, maybe the black hole will disappear or something. And then, and then, and then it will reveal what's going on underneath. That would be clever. Um, Okay, so how oh, how are we going to do this, the rest of this? So five is in one of those squares. Ah, okay, well that's straight away useful because that gives me, gives me a nine here, which means that's a five by the process. Now, now there is a five in here, so this is five and six. And now, and, and now that's a seven apparently by Sudoku. Oh, and that, right, that was contributing to the 30 diagonal. So let's let's have a look at this now. We've now got uh, 16 on it. We need 14 more, and we can't include 9 in either of those squares, so they are 8 and 6. So that's 8, that's 6, that's 6, that's 5. 5 is in one of those two squares. 5 is here, exactly, by Sudoku. We need 4, 6, and 7. Oh, Bobbin don't know if we can do better than that but we can we can definitely label those up four six and seven that's not seven and that's not six and that one rather annoyingly seems to be able to be a lot of things um okay but but um oh i don't know where to look can i do this seven and eight they seem to be doable, or I'd like them to be doable. Two is in one of those squares by Sudoku. And two is in one of these squares by Sudoku. So two has to make an appearance in row six of the grid, and it's going to be there, which means that's become a three. Which means three is in one of those squares, and two is here in box eight. How many twos have we got? Quite a few more than we used to have. Uh, but we've got this X-wing of twos left. All right, what about threes then? Uh, oh, no, we're still, we're still not very good on threes. We're about the same as we were. Uh, so, okay. Three, four, and nine into these squares. Which is... Oh, and this column needs a 4 in it. Let's put that in. 3, 7, and 8 into these squares. I don't think that's done. I mean, I can see this is an 8. So this is 3 or 7. And... where? Oh, where's 9 in this box? That's a reasonable question, isn't it? It's got to be here. That might not be that useful. Two, three, and four are in these squares. This is not two. Uh, oh dear, come on. 
<laughs> All right, four, five, and six into uh, five goes. Ah, oh, that's useful. Five, five, four, four, six. Yeah, that's. Oh, hang on, that's a six. Let's not get carried away. These squares are some things. Eight and six. So these squares are seven and nine, and we can do those. Wow, okay. And that four is giving me a six here and a four here. And that's going to allow me to finish the Rembam, which has been in the back of my mind now. So we know we know we needed an eight on the Renban by value. So the Renban goes like that, I think. Now I'm going to check this. So we've got a one on it, a two on it, which is the one doubled, a three on it, a four on it, which is the two doubled, a five on it, a six on it, which is the three doubled, a seven on it, an eight on it, uh, which is the four doubled, a nine on it, and a ten on it, which is the five doubled. That is absolutely wonderful. What? This is just, it's, it's so clever, this. It is so clever. Um, right, now, what can we do with this new knowledge that we've got? Yeah, we can do more. Look, four in this box can be placed. So four, two, and three go in. Four and seven go in. Three goes here. This becomes a seven, eight pair. There's a seven, eight pair in row something. Technical term for row eight. Um, and we might now, right, these don't include nine and they, they're, they're resolved. These squares here are five, six, and seven. Okay, which we might not be able to do, but at least we, we can put the options in. And these squares are two, eight, and nine. And the Sudoku at least seems to be working, which is a good sign. And now, have we done all our, we've done all our diagonals. No, oh no, I do, I have done that one. So it really is, it really, oh, this column has needs a six in it. There we go. And this row needs to be seven, eight, and nine. So this is a naked single. That's, that's very useful, actually. That's really very useful. That's doing a lot. Um, this is five or seven, has to be seven using that little known technique called Sudoku. Um, six is in one of these, which is here now. Five is here. This needs three and four in it, which we can put in. That's two, that's nine. That's three. And if I've not made a boo-boo, we can write nine here and four here. I'm not sure whether we've escaped the black hole, but we have finished the puzzle. Um, you solved it, it's correct. 53 people have done it in 2.6 days. Gosh, this has got through testing like Billy. I'm not surprised, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What a puzzle that is. That is one of my, oh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to highlight it again, but you know the one I mean. Row six, column five is one of the most brilliant, brilliant digits I can remember. That is, it's exceptional setting to put a one on that Remban and then, and then make a digit in a black hole, at least a five, counting as 10, meaning that the black hole on the Remban then had to have 10 digits on it. And then you had to think about how you were going to get odd digits on the black hole. And you realize, ah, hang on, everything that's not in the black hole that is a pink line now has to be on the same line. It, I mean, that is a sick series of deductions. Absolutely world class. Loved it, Michael. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Thank you.